what's going on guys and welcome back to godzilla warfare so as you guys know we are currently in season three and it is wednesday so that means we have a brand new weekly challenge this is still my favorite part of mw3 and it just gives the players something to look forward to you guys can see for week two we're gonna be unlocking the jack jaw breaker it's got to complete five of these weekly challenges to unlock this new aftermarket part and i don't even know what gun this is for you guys are brand new to the channel make sure to subscribe we post videos every single day and uh also this is my uh friendly duck so if you guys can drop a like for him that would be really sick all right fellas on the screen are the five challenges we need to do i think we need to get double kills we need to get clean kills with a shotgun we also need to use a scope and a suppressor and uh, oh okay oh my god wait hold on hold on Okay, thank you. I completely forgot this thing is not fully auto. I thought this was a fully automatic shotgun. It's not. You got to tap the trigger and just like that. Um, are we good? Oh, that's the whole team. This is... What? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm getting clean kills and double kills and... Bro... Oh my gosh. Yeah, a lot of these challenges revolve using a shotgun, which is making me think that the actual reward for this week is for a shotgun, which is very, very interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what they're doing. Also, it kind of feels a little weird to actually be... Ew. Oh, okay. It does feel a little weird, though, to be playing multiplayer right now because I've been playing so much Rebirth Island. That's literally the only thing I've been wanting to play. It's just been a lot of fun, man. Bringing back Rebirth Island was definitely the play 1,000%. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, all of these challenges are being complete. Doing the double kills. We got the scope and the suppressor on our shotgun. We're definitely getting clean kills as well. Oh, no. We just got the advanced UAV. There's absolutely no physical way. Stop. Wait. I don't even know you can get up there. What is happening? We need one more kill for something. I don't know if it's a clean kill or what, but... Oh, yeah, we just did a challenge. I think that was, like, for the suppressor and the scope, I'm pretty sure, which is, like, such an easy, easy camo challenge. This is so easy, man. Look at all these free licks, bro. Look at all... Oh, this is so another challenge. Right now, we just have to focus on getting double kills. That's like the last main thing we need to do. And then we actually might have to jump into hardcore. I know, I don't really play a lot of hardcore in Modern Warfare 3. The only time I play hardcore is for like camo challenges. There's actually a few different things we need to do that would probably just be easier in hardcore. All right, I think we need two more double kills and we are literally chilling, ladies and gentlemen. Got him, that's not a kill. That's a double kill. Perfect. Kill this man. That's a triple kill. That's a quad. And there we go. All right. 10 long shots with the KV broadside. I feel like this shouldn't be too difficult. Considering with like shotguns and pistols and stuff like that. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to get the long shot. Like the distance is a little bit shorter. And there we go. A long shot. All right. That's perfect. I think if we just chill literally right here, we should be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. If you guys are doing this weekly challenge, if you're trying to get long shots with the KV broadside, just sit right here in the middle. Oh, I cannot believe I just got that. There we go. Come on, just keep feeding me. Just keep coming through. An RGL? Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, there's so much just shooting off a rocket. Hardcore is a, a somewhat popular, you know, playlist and stuff like that. But sometimes I don't know how people play this all the time. What the fuck? Why were you sitting all the way in the back of the map? Oh. <sighs> this dude is just sitting here with an RGL. Thank you. Oh my god. It almost took me the entire game. I, I did it. I did it. Get me out of this lobby. Get me out. It's kind of funny because I was going to do the 30 operator quick scope kills with a recommended battle rifle. But instead, I just realized that we are very close to doing this challenge. Get 15 quick scope kills shortly after sprinting. Yeah, we might as well just do that. We need two more. All right, we just got a quick scope and we are chilling. We're good to go. Does that count? 
Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> All right, we're done, baby. Let's back out. We finished week two. So if we go over to challenges, week two, yes, attachment collected. Oh, wait, there's actually a new uh, event. I think that just, oh yeah, wow. It's a new blaze up event that literally just went live and you unlock the day mare's weapon. Okay. I don't know exactly what weapon the jawbreaker is for, but wait, I think it's for the, wait, it's for the KB broadside, the Jack Jawbreaker. Turns this thing into a full auto fire shotgun, increases the bullet velocity and range damage and gun kick. The description, it says, converts this shotgun into a hard hitting automatic battle rifle. Dude, what? This is insane. All right, this is the new attachment, and let's just see, without any attachments, how this feels. No! Wait, updating playlist? This thing genuinely might be insane. It's literally a battle rifle, pretty damn good for close and medium range. It definitely struggles at those long range kills, like with these iron sights, really, really bad. Ah, close range. This thing's absolutely crazy. All right, fellas, we have the Jack Jaw Breaker. This is like a brand new weapon entirely. This might as well be just a brand new battle rifle in the game. This is no longer a shotgun. It's a full auto battle rifle and it hits hard. I think I built a really good class setup for this thing where actually the recoil is like really non-existent. The only bad thing about this conversion kit is you cannot put Give me that back. You can't actually put a, a magazine attachment on. Wait, 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 wait. That spawn is just so like disrespectful. Get off me. I hear this guy. What the, where was that guy? What the fuck? What is going on this game? Wow, I am thoroughly impressed, dude. I gotta give it to Sledgehammer, man. They make MW3 so much fun to play. Look at this. They are literally on top. Sledgehammer has become just one of like my favorite development studios, which is absolutely insane because World War II is my least favorite Call of Duty game. I love these aftermarket parts, man. It just adds like new weapons in this game without it being like a brand new season. Thank you. Yeah, it just doesn't have a lot of uh, ammunition, which really, really sucks. So you have to almost only take out like a few people and then reload. So you have to really take that into consideration. Yep, there's another guy. Oh, these guys are all going down below. Wait, guy was chasing me? Thank you, dude. This thing is so sick. Oh, blaze up event. I did something. <laughs> I did something for the uh, new event this week. <laughs> I will say I've been playing so much Rebirth Island recently that I ha I feel like it's actually made me a much better player. Oh my God. As I say that, I'm literally dying. Use the advanced UAV. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I've actually been doing really, really well on Rebirth Island. I've actually been loving just uploading videos on it and giving you guys like the metas and every everything like that. This guy's, I think down below. Perfect. I feel like it's made me a better player at Call of Duty just for like map awareness and really anything like that. Oh my God. There's so many people, man. Holy. Oh, it's only kill confirmed. So I don't even think... I can even drop a little nukey nuke. Oh, that's annoying. Guys coming around. Thank you. Even though this thing has a slow fire rate though, it hits like a damn truck. Oh, why are you shooting down my streaks, buddy? Like what, 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 what's going on here? Hello? Thank you, I'm on a 19, but the game is gonna end, dude. Oh my God, you also run out of ammunition so fast with this gun. Thank you, I'm on a 20, but I'm not gonna be able to drop the nuke, man. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I mean, it's just almost impossible. No, no. Oh my God, no, no. No! Holy crap.
Got it. Let's call it in. I don't care, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Jack Jawbreaker. This thing is really fun to use, man. I like it. This thing is really fun to use, and I love how they're kind of like adding aftermarket parts for the MW2 weapons as well. So we have so many weapons in this game, and I feel like the MW2 weapons can shine even more. They can actually improve those weapons. Taking a shotgun and converting it into a battle rifle just takes this thing to a whole new level. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.